thrilled to share with you how to make a giant ice cream cone. I made this giant ice cream cone prop for a gender reveal party that I styled for Oriental Trading Company and it turned out amazing and so I thought I'd share all the details with you. Now when I say giant ice cream, I really mean giant. I'm 5 foot 7 tall and this ice cream cone is even taller than I am. This giant ice cream cone makes the perfect decoration for an ice cream themed gender reveal, ice cream themed birthday party, first birthday party, graduation, or any other event. Now the entire big ice cream cone base is made from cardboard, so you'll need some big pieces. I had two things delivered in these giant cardboard envelopes, so I used these for the base of the ice cream cone. First I cut them in half, and then my husband and I each held one edge of the pieces and kind of rounded it and bent it around a doorway in our house. So we ended up with two rounded pieces that look like this. I decided how wide I wanted my ice cream cone, then I trimmed the edges of the two cardboard pieces and used hot glue to glue them together. So I had a tall cylinder for the cone base. Next, it was time to make the top portion of the ice cream cone. So I cut two large identical circles out of the cardboard and a long thin strip of cardboard. Make sure that your round cardboard circles are a few inches wider than the ice cream cone base. Place one of the large cardboard circles on the ground and then bend the long piece of cardboard around the circle so that it wraps all the way around and then use a glue gun to glue the two ends together. You'll also want to glue the rounded sides to the circle base at the bottom. Next, you're going to glue the second circle to the very top of your base so that it looks like you have a big drum. And once you set it on top of the cone, this is what it will look like. I chose not to attach the top of the cone to the bottom of the cone, but this is totally up to you. Now it's time to get ready to paper mache. I paper mache two big round balloons that made the ice cream cones, and I also paper mache the top portion of the cone to make it nice and rounded and smooth. Now to get ready for the paper mache part, I used about 10 regular newspapers. I cut them all up. I cut them in half first, as you can see, and then I cut them into long strips. Now, if you're doing two scoops of ice cream like I did, then you'll need at least 10 regular size newspapers. If you use the Sunday paper, you'll need less because those ones are bigger. If you're only doing one scoop of ice cream, then you can definitely get away with less newspapers. Now it's time to make the paper mache base. I used a mixture of flour and water, and it's super easy to make. Start with a large mixing bowl, add a cup of flour, and then one and a half cups of water and stir well. I use these same proportions of one cup of flour and one and a half cups of water to fill my mixing bowl up and I used a wire whisk to mix it all up so that it was nice and smooth. You don't want any chunks or lumps because that will stay on your paper mache. You want everything nice and smooth. I ended up adding a little bit more water than one and a half cups to every one cup of flour because I found that I liked the consistency better when it was just a little bit thinner. So do what you like best. I think it's a little better, a little bit runnier because it's less messy and easier to use, but that's totally up to you. Now, before you start paper macheing, you want to make sure you prep your workspace. You're going to need a lot of cardboard or newspaper or a drop cloth or something underneath you um, to protect your workspace. It's going to get messy. Paper mache is not the cleanest thing and you will get drops of paper mache paste on the ground. So make sure you have cardboard or a drop cloth or newspaper or something to protect your workspace, especially since you're paper macheing a giant balloon. A 36 inch balloon is about three feet, so it's huge. So you need a lot of covered space to work on. You'll also need some kind of a base to hold your balloon on. You can't just set it on the cardboard or drop cloth because it will roll. I used some packaging, some foam packaging that I had a foot massager delivered to me in. So it kind of cradled the balloon and held it in place. So make sure you can find something that will hold that balloon in place so it doesn't roll while you're trying to put the newspaper on it. To actually start paper mache, first you'll dip a piece of newspaper inside your paper mache paste and then use your first two fingers to squeeze off the excess paste. And then you'll put the piece onto your balloon and then kind of smooth it out with your fingers. Make sure that as you apply the newspaper strips, they're all going in different directions. That will help make the balloon stronger and make for a stronger paper mache. Again, we are using a 36 inch balloon for our ice cream scoop. If you were doing one scoop on your ice cream cone, then obviously you'll only need to paper mache one giant balloon. 
If you're doing two scoops like I did, then you'll need to do this process for two separate balloons. Now making giant ice cream isn't hard, but it definitely is very time consuming. It's going to take a while to cover an entire giant balloon with newspaper, and that's just the first coat. So you're going to do your first coat, let it completely dry. I waited about a day in between each layer because you wanna make sure it's completely dry. If your paper mache isn't dry and you do another layer, it can mold or it can take a lot longer to set or it can get wrinkly and yucky. So it's just best to wait until it's completely dry in between layers. But what you can do is if you're doing two scoops, you can do the first layer on one scoop, the first layer on your other scoop, and then let it completely dry until the next day and then start on the second layer. And I did three layers to make sure my paper mache was nice and strong. You're going to, um, through all this work, you might as well make it as strong and durable as you can. Once you've finished one section of the balloon, turn it and start paper mache on the next section and keep repeating that until you have your entire first layer covering the whole balloon. My daughter actually enjoyed handing me the newspaper strips and it made the process go by a lot quicker. So here's what the first paper mache giant ice cream cone scoop looks like after it has all of its layers on and it dried in between each layer. Notice how it's nice and smooth and there aren't any pieces of newspaper sticking up or poking up or any cracks or anything. If they're nice and smooth, that means that your finished product will be nice and smooth and your ice cream cone will look much cooler. Once the paper mache is dry, it gets so hard you can knock on it and tap on it. You're also going to want to paper mache the top of the ice cream cone. This makes it nice and smooth and it covers up the edges where the cardboard meets so it just looks much better. I didn't bother paper mache the bottom cylinder of the ice cream cone. I didn't think it needed it. I spray painted a few coats of a Rust-Oleum sand color that looked like an ice cream cone color to me. So I did a couple light coats let them dry in between each coat and it looks like an ice cream cone now. Again, I did not attach these two cone pieces. I just set the bigger piece on top of the bottom piece. So here's what the bottom of the balloon looks like. This is where I tied it. So you're going to take scissors, just cut a slit across the bottom of the balloon and let the air out. It's kind of satisfying to listen to the air come out and the balloon shrinks down. Um, and pulls away from the newspaper and then you'll have the balloon left over in the middle of your paper mache. Next you'll take some strong scissors and cut a hole in the bottom of your ice cream cone scoop and remove the balloon from inside. This is what it will look like inside. When I blew up the big balloons for my ice cream scoops, I made my second balloon a bit smaller for the top scoop because I wanted the top scoop to look a little bit smaller. Here's what the pieces look like stacked on top of each other. They're not attached to each other yet. What I did is because an ice cream scoop isn't a perfectly round sphere, I cut a lot of the bottom ice cream scoop off so that it looks more like a real scoop with a kind of a flatter bottom. And then for the top piece, I cut a lot more off so that that top scoop is a lot smaller. I used Great Stuff Gaps and Cracks spray foam to attach the ice cream cone scoops to each other and to the top of the cone. It worked perfectly. I didn't use glue or anything to attach the ice cream cone scoop to the top of the cone, just the foam. So first I started by attaching the nozzle and then shaking really good, of course, and then adding layer by layer of spray foam to the bottom of the ice cream cone. I went around the whole thing first to kind of get that base layer and then I added on to it a few different layers. I didn't want them to look perfectly linear or straight. I wanted them to look kind of goopy like melting ice cream cone. So once it cooled, here's what it looked like. I think it looks pretty cool and pretty realistic. So after the bottom scoop was on, it was time to start on the top scoop. And remember that I didn't use any glue or anything to seal it, so I just set the piece on top and did a thin layer of spray foam around it, just like I did for the base, and then went back over it and made it a little bit thicker and looked kind of layery and more goopy so that it looked more like the bottom of a real ice cream cone. Now 
Now it's time to paint, and this was a really fun part. This is where you'll really see your giant ice cream cone start to come to life and look more realistic. I just used pink and blue acrylic paint that I already had. You can buy it at any craft store, super cheap, and it works really, really well. The coverage was great, even with one coat. I ended up doing two coats of paint on the newspaper part and one coat of paint over the foam. I used a large foam brush and that worked really, really well for getting in the grooves of the foam, as you can see here. It, you can kind of smash it into the holes and it fills up the little holes pretty well um, in the spray foam. It also worked great for the ice cream scoops. And then for going around the detail work um, around the base of the spray foam and all of that, a small angled brush worked really, really well with the angled um, portion. I could really dig underneath the foam and it worked perfectly. It made all the details look really good. Here's a closer look of the spray foam and what it looks like when it's all done and painted. I think it looks pretty realistic. It looks like an ice cream, the bottom of an ice cream cone, kind of melty and a little bit smushy and goopy. The finished giant ice cream gets pretty hard. You can knock on it or tap on it and it feels really hard like you're knocking on a door. Um, as long as you do three layers, you should be good. With that being said, you still want to make sure you're being careful and gentle with it. And here's our lovely giant ice cream cone all finished. I made my giant ice cream cone prop for an ice cream gender reveal party that I styled for Oriental Trading Company. Um, I'm a party stylist for them. And what I did with this one, it's pretty cool. You saw in the video how I left the um, two cone pieces so that the top part you could lift up. What I did was stuck pink helium balloons inside of the cone so that when it was time to reveal the gender, all you had to do was lift up the top of the ice cream cone and the scoops that were attached to it. And then the helium balloons would fly out, pink for a girl, obviously blue for a boy. And it's a really fun, cool way to announce um, the gender of your baby. This big ice cream cone is the perfect decoration for any ice cream themed party. It would be great for an ice cream birthday party, an ice cream themed first birthday party, graduation, bridal shower, or baby shower. Do you like our giant ice cream cone prop? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. For more creative tutorials, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks.